we've come to the third drink in our Christmas chintil drinks, yep. so to speak. All right, and this is one of my favorites. It's like my favorite. Right, yes. right. Sorrel. Okay. So we have here our sour products. Okay. All right. So and this is of the dark variety because there's a lighter one, and there's even what we call white sorrel. All right. So it's very very pale. Um, Kind of off white, right? And it gives you a nice clear sorrel drink, all right? But it tastes flavors the same, okay? Many people are of the opinion, all right? That sorrel has to be cut, all right? Around the crown, all right? And just with the florets, the petals alone, okay? I would like to debunk, as you will, yes, that, you know, that myth. It is not absolutely necessary that you do this, okay? What is absolutely necessary is that you wash your sorrel. Sorrel is on a tree, <laughs> all right, and you'll have little bugs and you know, yes. little insects and all that in between. All right, so you have to make sure that it's clean, all right. So under running water, it may take a little time, all right, because you have to do each one, all right. Give it a good little scrub, very gently, and all should be well, okay. Another um, myth I would like to debunk is the need to boil your sorrel. Um, if you prefer to boil your sorrel, of course that's fine. It's, 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 um, it's okay, it's a preference. But you don't have to boil, but you don't have to boil your sorrel. And actually, um, in my experience, I have found that sorrel is better when it is drawn. The flavor, the flavors develop better when you draw it overnight. When you boil your sorrel, you're boiling out all the flavor. All right? So, uh, I'm going to demonstrate for you what I mean by drawing the soil. And I beg to defer, I will fight with anybody to tell me that boiling is better. <laughs> All right, but if you, if you boil, that's fine. But, okay. Okay, one question. What about the seed? Doesn't the seed make it bitter if oh. you leave it? Mm, okay, that's a good question. All right. Okay, so um, people always ask me that. Now, what I have found is that if you draw it with the seed, right? Overnight, that's fine. There is no bitter taste, no bitter aftertaste. If you boil it, however, all right, with the seed, you will find that you will get that bitter taste because when it is boiling, all that flavor is being drawn out, and that includes the seed, right? The little seed inside. When I say the seed, I mean the inside of it, this part, all right? So inside there, right, you will get a little bitter taste. If you boil it, however, if you, if you draw it, if you pour hot water, which I will demonstrate in a little while, if you pour hot water and leave it overnight, you will find that you will eliminate that, okay. that bitter taste, okay? Alright, so what I like to do to help me with is water, hot water. So I have here approximately a pound and a half of soil, it's approximately or so. Alright, and we're going to use boiling water. Remember, we are using our liquid measuring cup. All right. How much is this again, Ruben? It's two cups. Two cups. All right. Pour it over. Can you open this? Yes. Okay. And two oh, cups. Two so cups. We now have four cups. Oh wow! This <laughs> is so very good. Now we have two more cups, mm -hmm. six cups, six cups. Right? Who did this oh, up? Sorry. Last one. The last time was six cups. <laughs> one more cup. I'll give you seven. Seven cups, cups of boiling water. Okay, and two this boiling um to the, the mixture here of the soil and the boiling water. We will add again 15 little <laughs> Cool florets. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so we get them all over. Good. And this time we add two cinnamon sticks. Good. Two cinnamon sticks. Make sure it's submerged in the water. All right. Now, this is what I add to my soil. Now, um, you have the choice. You can add bay leaves. Some people like bay leaves. You can add one or two 
berries. You can also add um, different kinds of um, spices. All right, but these are the basic spices that I that I use for soil. That's the clove and the cinnamon sticks. All right, hot boiling water, seven cups to about a, a pound and a half of um, of fresh soil, two cinnamon sticks, fifteen cloves. Also, all right. So this is put to be drawn, no, drawn overnight. That's what I mean by draw. All right, all the flavors, the hot water will draw out all the flavors without um, getting that bitter taste from the seeds. Okay, so we set this aside. This will be doing overnight. And fortunately, I did some last night. See that rich dark color? All right. Okay, so what we add now is our sweetening agent, which as I mentioned with the ginger beer, uh, my preference is brown sugar. You can add granite sugar if you like, um, but I think the brown sugar gives it a better taste. And um, um, health, health benefits, uh, health-wise, brown sugar is always better for you. Okay, so we use brown sugar. Now, sorrel is a drink that takes a lot of sugar. If you do not add sufficient sugar, you'll find you're getting that tart, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a tart taste yeah. from, uh, from me from the soil mixture and that we don't want that at all. We want a nice sweet mix and you have to remember too that sorrel, the flavors intensify when you refrigerate it. So I don't know if it's your experience, but I know it's my experience. When you sweeten it and all that, put it in the fridge, next week when you go for it, flavors, it's deeper. sweeter, the flavors are deeper, you know. So you have to ensure that there's sufficient sugar, all right, so that we will yeah, okay. Balance of the so taste nice and sweet. Okay, so to my mixture here, I will be adding three cups. Um, could be more, three or four cups of it. Sounds like a lot. And right? it is, but it is a lot. But soil takes a lot of sugar. All right. Remember, we are using our dry ingredient cup. All right. So I will still run my trusty assistant here. Pour the sugar. Pour the sugar. One cup. Okay. Stirring. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. And stop at three. It takes a considerable, considerable amount of stirring. Okay. Now, what's important here to add is our bitters. All right. I want to use bitters here a little bit, but add in. Let me see. What, five dashes? Five dashes also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, all right. <laughs> okay, bitters is really up to you. All right. The pure average thing. Six. I'm stirring, I stir until you see no sugar crystals coming up in your spoon. Alright, so it takes a considerable amount of stir. So, Levin, so out of the three, um, our Christmas um, try, Trinity of Rings, what is yes. your favorite? My favorite is Sorrel. Punch of Rings is a close um, second. Mm -hmm. And Ginger Bay and Hard if you post. Yes, okay, yes. So I think I agree with Levin as well. Um, Sorrel is the top of my list. Alright, it's good. Um, nice refreshing glass of soil with ice is the best thing. Punch of pan is really a second, and ginger beer is a distant. <laughs> All right, but my mom and my father were here alive, God rest his soul. Loved, loved, loved ginger beer. My brother in law loves it as well. I mean, ginger beer, but he always come and sit down and ask, and says, with my ginger beer. All right, so <laughs> yeah, some people really love ginger beer. All right, then. for me, what is up? What is good for me when it comes to ginger beer? When I smell ginger beer, that's when I feel all right. This Christmas time. All right. So I don't really necessarily have to drink it, but I smell it. Yes, yeah, the best thing ever. All right. So this stirring, as I said, it takes a little while, and you have to ensure that um, all the sugar crystals. I'm gone. Alright. Oh yes, one more tip. I encourage you if you draw when you draw this overnight, um, sweeten it when it is room temperature. 
and not when it's, it's hot. cold. When it's, it's cold. cold. Alright, sweeten it when it's room temperature. Or it, it, it could be sweetened in warmness and warmest weather, but remember we join it overnight, so by then it'll be room temperature. The reason why I'm saying that is because um, sugar, if you put it in the fridge, if the sour liquid is cold, then sugar takes longer to dissolve. Yes. Alright, so I encourage you to um, sweeten it when it's room temperature. And of course, if you use the lighter sorrel, you'll get more of a, a red, like a brighter red, but just the dark one, you get a deep maroon color. And if you use the white sorrel, as we say, it will be almost transparent. However, um, the flavor, you'll be surprised. The flavor will be the same. You'll, you'll be drinking some leg water, but then you're getting all the sorrel flavor. All right, so if you happen to get white sorrel, try it, it's really, really good. It's very rare, I have this here. And if you happen to get it, that's fine. Yes, all right, that should be it. Yeah, so we have here our soil. Let's see how it looks in a glass. Let's take a nice pot and see how this rich soil looks. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Can I cut up? Yeah, beautiful color, rich. And there we have it. Christmas sorrel, very best. Training Christmas is the best. <laughs>